Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week I am sharing how to do the answer to one of the most pop popular questions I get on this channel and that is how do I film a YouTube video with my phone's like a screen recording of my phone showing up at the same time. We'll put an example right here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And basically how in the world am I able to do this in my YouTube videos, in my tutorials on this channel, and to have my phone showing up while I'm recording myself. And so this video is gonna show you the exact three-step process to how I do that for my YouTube videos and then how I edit them together and all of that stuff. So before we jump in, I am using an iPhone and that is just the way that's what I have that's how I know how to do it I know you can do it with Android and I will show you like tell you from my knowledge but I don't have experience doing it with Android so if you're using an Android you might have to do a little digging on your own to figure out how to do a screen recording and I'm also using an Apple MacBook the specific program that I'm actually using to uh, edit my video together is Final Cut Pro just because it has a lot more features that allow me to do that You should be able to do very very similar things within iMovie Final Cut Pro is basically an upgraded version of iMovie So you should be able like you can still add overlays and graphics and stuff like that with an iMovie on your YouTube videos So more than likely you should be able to do this exact same thing in iMovie, but just full transparency I am using Final Cut Pro and I believe you can get like a free trial of Final Cut Pro. So we'll have the program linked down below if you want to try it out or even if you just want to make one video like this, you could download it for a couple weeks and get that free trial. And then the last thing they're going to need is Canva and that's actually a completely free program. So uh, the link will be down to that below as well. That's what I use to make kind of like the graphic that has, um, that looks like a phone that I can put the screen recording in. So Okay, so let's go ahead and just dive into it. Um, I'm first gonna show you guys how to get the screen recording as I am filming, like what that process even looks like. All right, so I have my phone pulled up. Obviously I can't show you screen recording if I'm showing you how to do a screen recording. So this is the best way I can show you guys. So I have like, you know, for example, my channel, I do a lot of videos where I am um, showing you how to do things in Reels. So I would just pull up the Reels app. What I do is I swipe down from the top right of my phone screen, and then this little like round, almost bullseye icon right here is uh, the screen recording feature. And so actually, if you tap on that, it'll count down three, two, one, and then it will start a screen recording. And then when you tap to end, so I'm gonna tap out of this, it shows up right up here, and then you can just tap on that to stop your screen recording, and it will save it to your camera roll, which is awesome. Uh, another thing I wanna point out, let's go back to the screen recording. If you tap and hold down, you have the option to turn your microphone on or off. You need to make sure, tap on this if it's on already, to be red so that it's on. The reason because it makes your life so much easier after the fact when you go to pieces together with your video you have recorded on your DSLR and it makes it so much easier to do that. So just make sure that's on first before you hit to start your screen recording um, and then you're good to go. And if you don't see the screen recording option, let me go ahead and go to my settings. You're gonna come to settings here you're gonna scroll down until you see control center, tap on that, and if it's, um, you know, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see screen recording, it will probably be down here. You're just gonna tap like this, the plus icon right here to add it to your control center so that it pops up when you swipe down right here. Uh, so that's how you get the screen recording function on your iPhone. Again, if you have an Android, um, what I read is that you have to swipe down twice from the top, and then it should be in the, the list of functions there, and if you can't, don't see it, swipe right you know on the different pages until you do see that function um, and so uh, that's just what I've read you might have to research a little bit more and play around with your settings and make sure that it's like in there but I know Android does have the function to screen record as well and if there's you know the ability to do it with um, voice that's the best option because it's gonna make your life so much easier and you'll you'll know why when we get to the editing part so now basically what you do is when you tap to start your screen recording on here and you have that mic on to make it easier on yourself later. Um, when you tap on that, you also just literally come up to your DSLR, set it up like mine is right now, hit record on your DSLR and then just film and show yourself whatever you're doing on your phone, all of that stuff. And then when you're done, stop the screen recording so it saves to your, your camera roll and then stop your DSLR um, 
video so that you can then piece it together. All right, so now I've got my laptop pulled up in front of me because step two is to create almost like that phone graphic, right? That goes over this screen recording we just made because we're gonna have to, like I just like it because it makes it look like a phone is popped up on the screen, right? And so what you wanna do is log into Canva. I have Canva pulled up right here. If you turn to your screen, you'll see it. And you can get do this completely for free. So you don't have to pay for anything. Log into Canva and we're gonna hit create a design in the upper right hand corner right here. And there's not really a set size. You have to have it. I would just recommend hitting something really simple, um, like 1080 by 1920 is a good size, Instagram story size. We'll just make that. We just need it to be a good like vertical size, about the size of a phone, right? So when you have this open, what you're gonna then want to do is come down over here to elements and then you can search in Canva for different elements. And there's a lot of free ones that are actually pretty good. So for example, I'm gonna search in here iPhone and it's gonna give us a ton of different options. The option that we're gonna want, um, you can even like click around to different ones. I'm actually gonna change the background color so that I can see this. Um, you're gonna wanna, wanna make sure it's one that has a transparent middle to it. So like this one, see how there's like white in the middle? That means that we're not gonna be able to do it correctly when we go to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete on this one. And let me see if I can find another one. Um, oh, okay. So this one, I do actually, um, have it for free as a part of pro. So I'm not going to use that one. Um, just cause I know a lot of you won't be paying for pro. So let's keep going and see if we can find another option. We do have this one. It's not filled in though. Let me see if I can keep looking. Um, cause I definitely want to give you guys an option that is going to be free. Okay. So I just scrolled down enough, searched iPhone, Scroll down a little bit and I found this one that says free, which is perfect. So yeah, we're just gonna center it like in the middle of our screen right here. Doesn't matter what our background color it is uh, because when we hit download right here, we're gonna have it set to PNG and then we're going to hit transparent background, okay? And then we're gonna hit download and it's gonna save that to our, uh, to our computer. And so I feel like I said computer really work weird there, but whatever. Um, so basically now what we're going to do now that we have this, uh, we have the filmed footage with our DSLR that goes along with the screen recording that we made and hopefully audio on both of those. So we can like match it up right when we're editing. And we have the iPhone graphic that has a transparent background. It's really important, like in the middle of the phone. Okay, you'll see why here in a second. Now that we have those three things, I'm gonna gather those all into a folder and then show you how to go from there. All right, so now if we turn back to your screen, you're going to see a folder where I basically compiled those three things that we talked about. So we have this phone overlay, has the transparent background in the middle, right? We have the recorded video, um, say hi to me recording a video for YouTube. This is one of the videos you guys are, will have already seen on my channel and I'm doing a screen recording with it. So um, I also, I just named it for simplicity, like two, two screen recording. This is the screen recording on my phone that goes with that YouTube video. So um, what we're gonna do, I actually created a new library too in Final Cut Pro, because that's what I'm using to edit. And if we click on that, we're going to open up the library right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new project. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna hit new project. I'm just gonna do a phone overlay tutorial, nothing crazy, hit okay. And then we go back to that folder. What I essentially do first is I will drag that DSLR recording first into the timeline, okay? And you'll see down here, see in this blue bar, how there's almost like little hills. And those are basically showing you like when you are talking. And so what we're gonna do next is come up here. We're gonna drag the screen recording in right on top of it since it's probably about the same length. Again, you'll see it has like almost little hills, right? And so we wanna match up the hills together so that they're talking at the same time so that they match up. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to, cause I don't really start talking until here. So I'm gonna go ahead, match it up over here. I'm gonna um, hit Command Plus on my keyboard to just zoom in right here to get super right. granular and specific. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this and see how well the audio matches up. 
All right, so now I have my Instagram. It actually sounds pretty good. So I'm actually going to show you an example. Like this would be an example of it not being matched up very well. All right, so now I have my So see how the audio is very off, right? So I'm going to go back to where it was because it actually was pretty good for a first attempt. And then what I do first is the audio that I actually want to be playing is from my DSLR because I have a fancy mic. This is just phone audio that's crappy. And so I'm basically going to go over here. I'm going to scroll over the hills until you can see where it says 0.0, .0 dB. And I'm just going to click and then drag that all the way down so that there's no volume anymore on the screen recording. And when we play it now... It's just going to be the audio from the original DSLR video and not from the screen recording, which is perfect and what we want. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. I'm going to drag the DSLR video so it starts at the same time, which is like when I talk right here. And let's go ahead now. So now the next part, obviously, the screen recording is just in the middle of the video. We don't want that. We want it to be off to one side. So what you want to do is you want to click on the screen recording come up here uh, make sure you have this first section here i think it's like video yeah video inspector and when you click on that you want to come down to transform right here and that's where you can go to scale and you can make it smaller bigger so make it as small or big as you want you can use the x and the y right here to reposition so like i'll bring it over to the side over here is what i normally do for my videos before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead now add that phone overlay so I can get it like exactly where I want within that overlay. So let me go ahead and pull that. What we're gonna do is click on this. We're gonna drag it over top of that screen recording. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out even more because we're going to drag this so it's as long as the screen recording goes. Okay, so it like goes over the entire video. Okay, so now we're going to have to move that overlay just like we moved to the screen recording with that transform section. We're going to move the phone overlay with the transform section. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side over here, get it about where I want it. I'm going to head and click back to the screen recording. So there's a yellow box around the screen recording, right? We're going to zoom, make it a little bit bigger so it fills in. This is why having it transparent is so important because you want it to fill in behind and I think this needs to go down just a little bit so something like that is what we want so when we hit play um, and I'll even come a lot further along here so I can show you like as I'm tapping things and stuff um, but let me see if there's a good example that you can see exactly like what I am doing and what I am talking about so let me come like right here and then right below it says has a little arrow like so you can see like what was showing up like as I was holding my phone was what's showing on the screen recording which is like just so awesome and super handy so basically that's it another thing you can do like say this first part of me talking about what I am going to do I don't want the screen recording to start yet what you'll do is simply drag um, the screen recording to whenever you want it to start so say like I actually start talking about it like maybe right here we're gonna do, we're gonna drag both of those because if you don't, the phone overlay is just gonna be up with nothing on there. So we're gonna drag that. And then once you've got the screen recording starting and ending, say like I wanted it to end like, let's see, like right here because I like stopped talking about it. Once you do that, you can then uh, drag and select all three clips so that all three of them have the yellow box over it. Right click and hit new compound clip, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And what this does is it almost combines them all together. So if you wanna edit out mistakes or like whole parts of the video, you don't have to like clip it out of each, like the overlay and the screen recording and the DSLR video. So for example, like I can already see right here, um, there's a gap in me talking where I might wanna trim that out. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard, select that part of the video, hit delete. And it's going to delete that whole part, the overlay, the screen recording, and the DSLR video all at one time. And it just makes your editing way faster. One thing I do want to mention, if you come up, you can't see it on the, what I'm showing you guys right now. But if you come up um, and you hit clip right here, and then let's make sure, actually, I'm going to select. So say like after this, I realize, oh, like I need to change something or move something around within any of those things. Um, if you click on the clip, make sure it's selected, it has the yellow box. Come up to clip and then break apart clip items and it will break it apart again um, and undo that like compound clip that you had created. 
So from there, you're really to just able to go throughout the rest of your editing process and do whatever you want to edit the YouTube video that you're working on. And that's essentially how it works, right? Uh, so I hope that was helpful. I get so many questions on how to do this and so many requests. So finally, we've got a video out there that shows you exactly how I am editing this type of video. And it's actually pretty simple, probably more simple than you thought. So again, the link to like Final Cut Pro, Canva, will be linked down in the description if you want to um, get any of those programs if you don't have them anything like that if you have any other questions on creating video on how to edit video would be sure to drop a um, comment down below and i would love to know what other questions you have and uh, yeah just thank you guys for tuning in i upload a new video around here every tuesday at 12 p.m eastern standard time so if you're someone who's new to my channel or just happened to stumble upon me be sure to subscribe because i share every single week on how to create relevant content to grow your brand online so if that sounds like something that would be super fun be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on every single video and thank you guys again for being here and i'll see you guys next week on tuesday bye guys